Howdy folks, today we're doing some DIY hydronics. This is specifically for anyone who's got one of these Watts stainless steel uh, manifolds for their hydronic system and you've got sticking flow indicators, balancing indicators. That's primarily what this is going to be for, but if anyone wants to watch this who don't really know much about hydronic systems, uh, this is about as simple as it can get. This, uh, this system I put in myself when we built our house about uh, 12 years ago now. You've basically got a boiler, in this case it's an electric boiler. Uh, you've got an outlet, you've got an outlet line that uh, from the boiler, you've got a pressure tank, a recirculating pump, and then it goes down to feed the supply line or the supply end of the manifold, goes through the loop of pipe wherever it goes and then it comes back up to the return line of the manifold and back down into the boiler to be reheated and just keep circulating over and over again. There's a single circulating pump for multiple zones they're all controlled by these uh, uh, these watts actuators these are a um, thermal actuator also known as a wax motor really neat design uh, you can look these up online how linear uh, or thermal actuators work or wax motors Basically, it's a little um, cylinder with a wax pellet in it, and it's got a little heating element on it. In this case, it, the heating element is a very low wattage element driven off of uh, 24 volts AC. So when the thermostat calls for heat, it energizes the little heating element. The wax changes um, states from solid to liquid as it heats up, as we all learned back in junior high science. Uh, you know, the space between the molecules increases when that happens and it pushes the little piston op down which opens the, the valve to the uh, manifold. Um, they're great because they can provide a lot of pressure, these little wax motors. Uh, so you, they're great for uh, things with strong springs. These are actually the same idea what's in your um, thermostat in your vehicle for your coolant system. You know, as the coolant heats up, the thermostat opens same idea. It's got the little wax uh, actuator in it. So anyways, like I said, the problem here is, I'll just zoom in, so these, the reason I went with this, uh, the Watt stainless steel manifold system, they're great for a do-it-yourself install because they've got the balancing meters built right into each uh, loop. So you can balance each zone or, you know, balance each loop in the zone you know, if you've got hot or cold spots, you can increase or decrease the flow rate. Ideally, though, you want them all to be the same flow rate for each zone. So as you can see on these little indicators, it shows in gallons per minute the flow rate, anywhere from 0 to 2. And the idea is you adjust the little valve, which is up here on the uh, return side. There's a, uh, there's a valve that you can adjust with one of these little keys. And you can turn it in or out to adjust the flow rate. So all your zones are balanced or matched. So this one's stuck. There's several. There's another one there and another one there. So there's three all together. You know, I can tap on them. They're not moving. So I really don't know what the problem is. It still works fine, of course, but it kind of bugs me this is stuck. One, uh, you know, one, I can't see the flow rate. That's, you know, this has been adjusted, so it shouldn't be an issue. But it is nice to confirm what the flow rate is every, you know, once a season or whatever. And the other thing is, does this represent a bigger problem that's occurring inside? Meaning, is there a bunch of crud floating through here that is keeping these stuck? Or is it just a buildup of stuff on the, on the valve? I have no idea how these work. That's why I'm doing this video for anyone else. Who's got one of these we're going to see how this comes out we're going to see the mess that happens so the first thing we've got to do is isolate the manifold from the boiler so i've got two valves on the input side so i'm going to turn those off again depending on how your system is configured you may not have those valves you may have to turn the valves off on the boiler itself now because i don't really know what to expect here i'm going to zoom back in sorry about that I've got rags, um, I've got a bunch of little rubber discs and feet, um, so when I open this up, hopefully I've got something that I can plug it. I also have some electrical tape. 
So, let's see what happens here. I'm just going to put a rag, shove it in there. Okay, so these aren't that tight. But I don't know if there's a O-ring in here sealing it. If I'm going to have to RTV silicone it back in when I'm done. Or what's going to happen here. Okay, so it's... Ooh, nice. Nothing's coming out. That's awesome. Not much to these little flow meters. Kind of resembles a spark plug. Um, the way it threads into the manifold and whatnot. Uh, very simple principle how it works. Flow, this is on the supply line if you recall. So we've got coolant or transfer fluid, water, whatever, flowing down the manifold as it goes out the outlet to each uh, loop. The water just flows past this little disc and the faster the flow, the more it would pull the, uh, the indicator down. Uh, like I said, I'm sure this is a ceramic rod. And there is nothing that appears to be blocking it or making it stick, so who knows if there was a little bit of crud in there. No idea, but it's super free to move now. I'm just going to clean it with some water, you know, flush it out. But uh, super easy to check these and pull them out, clean them up, whatever, if, they're, if uh, you've got one that's sticking. And we'll put it back in and uh, fire up the boiler and see if it works. Just in case you're wondering what the inside of the manifold looks like where those uh, flow valves are, I was kind of thinking maybe there was gum in there that maybe was making that little disc stick. But as you can see, it's pretty much spotless. Fluid is really clean. The little brass uh, outlet is clean. Nothing that would uh, cause it to stick. So these actuators are warming up the little red window. I don't know if you can see it. These ones aren't on. These are the three that are on the zone that's calling for heat. Little red windows moving up. And there's a micro switch in one of them. When that activates, that uh, signals the uh, boiler to fire up and to turn on the recirculating pump. There we go. So they're all matched at just over half a gallon a minute. I'm going to turn the thermostat off and we'll see if this one is no longer stuck. Well, the thermostat is off, just waiting for those actuators to slowly close. And there they go. No longer stuck. Yeah, that one's sticking a bit. Might just be, uh, they're getting old. And for what it's worth, if you got one of these that are stuck, not really a big deal. Unscrewing them, freeing them up, plug them back in, see what happens. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.